Hello, it's the last day of transom tear out, so thought I'd give you guys a, a little last minute <clears throat> video. Uh, a little catch you up to date. The uh, swim platform's off. And uh, it's just a little flimsy without the transom and the swim platform. I got all my uh, materials. The Kusa board, wow, and the odor coming out of that thing. It's crazy. A roll of 10 yards of, uh, I think that's the 1708. And um, a full roll of woven. I have five gallons of uh, resin and five gallons of peanut butter. I don't know if you can see it back there in the back, but I got a roll of tabbing tape. So, uh, the top one is one and three eighths, which should give me, after I get one or two uh, layers of glass on it, my final thickness of one and three quarter thickness, total transom thickness. And then I have three. Uh, three quarter inch um, sheets for the stringers and bulkheads. And, and if that's not enough, it's just an hour drive away to go get some more. I'll probably have to go get some more. So. Oh, I'm going to show you guys this thing. Good reason to check your seal on your gimbal housing. You can see where the seal on this one has gone south. And the corrosion from them not using uh, cathodes or uh, zinc plates, that's actually holes all the way through. Let's see if I can turn that thing around. I was having trouble was you can't really see it on here but the uh, the Y tube was completely corroded in this area and so every time I turned the boat on to go anywhere I was essentially filling myself up with water but you can see anyway so that's that all right I'm gonna turn this thing off I'll turn it back on once I get so the very top cap of the transom on the inside came out essentially in one piece once I got up there and started getting on it with the pry bars and, and the chisel. Uh, it's, I guess it was glassed in to the top, the top part, but not very not very much contact. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking at this correctly or not, but it just doesn't look like there was any mechanical contact on this glass where it wrapped over and obviously just riddled with potential openings for for water to get in. Uh, there, there was some what looked like maybe a seal or something on there. So maybe it was sealed, I don't know. But that's the last little bit and it's it's just about to come out. I can't. When you can see no you can't see. Shoot, let me take the camera off. There's some kind of seal sealant up there that that they put between the the top deck and the hull. But this is it. This is the last little bit. And at least I got a nice little piece that I know will will uh, help me do my at least the top part of the 
of the uh, transom board that my code cut up. We should all come out that easy. Alright, let me put this on there. I gotta record. There's some some stuff holding, but there was no mechanical connection. I mean, these, these screws—I don't know if you can see that. These little screws right here are the uh, the belt line trim going around the um, where the where the two pieces come together on the outside. The aluminum trim that was screwed into it. So no wonder some of those things are so loose. <laughs> And okay, well, I zoomed in. You can't tell. <laughs> this thing's so flimsy without the wood on there. Right, well, I mean, so anyway, step uh, three of the thousand mile journey. So I'm going to clean it up, sand it down, and make a template, and cut, uh, and cut that piece of cusa board to fit in there. And then we'll take it from there. So, kind of found something that uh, a little disturbing, maybe. Uh, let you guys take a look at it, see what you think. I think... I think it's just from delamination, but uh, or where they probably just tried to add a little bit more of that chop strand from from the from the chopper gun back at the factory. But here, take a look. I'm not going to cl climb inside. I'm going to do this from outside. So this little piece was, I mean, it was butted right up against here, nice and tight. So I popped it off. But look inside here and see how how dark it is where the the lamination didn't really uh, didn't really seem to be laminated. It was just kind of laying up in there and or delaminated at some point after all the the smelly bilge from this garbage drain, I guess, was set too high. I mean, this, are they supposed to be that high? 
from the there's just no way there's always half a gallon of water in the bilge right. anyway so I still got a little bit I still got a little bit of work to do uh, all along there it's gonna be like that on both sides it's kinda just at the bottom you can almost see where the the thickness starts tapering out I guess right about right about here it gets a little thicker so on this side not quite as obvious but it's still it's still got a little thickness extra thickness to it so still not done still not ready all right oh yeah hey papa how you doing talk to you later